What are you doing, Mark? Messing things up. What do you mean? I should have some blue tape on there. Something to go off of. These little, these numbers are hard, especially with my fingers. Okay, here we go. It's going to be the first uh, put in the water. The inaugural launch. Take two. There she goes. Hey, Captain Mark, um, so you worked a lot of hours to get this boat ready. How's it feel to be finally dunking it? Uh, good. I don't lose crazy. Watch out, Nala. Watch out, girl. Watch your feet. Watch your feet.
All right, as I have said before, the reason I built this boat is because I like exploring. And uh, as you can tell, we're up here. Out there where that boat's out, if you can see that, that's the, that's the deep water. This is all the shallows, shallow flats. So how do you have a 19 foot boat that'll let you get into water like this over here? See how skinny this water is up here? Gonna drift this thing right across it. I'm gonna pull it. And I'll run out here. And you can see no problems. That's just about ankle deep, over ankle, just over ankle deep. Show them how deep it is, Boca. Huh? Now, this is minus trolling motor, minus battery. That's really all that I would put in this. So, say another, I don't know, maybe 100 pounds. There she goes. She's still sitting high. Okay, so. I'm going to stop it. She's floating. And that's it. That's what she's floating in maybe maybe four inches but she still moves easily so yeah I know I'm gonna take a pounding without a V I mean it's all about trade-offs but this is kind of the stuff that I dig I like going across this small or this shallow flat area messing around with the old puppies you see a grass flat out here exposed. We're really kind of looking for some scallops, but we haven't found any. We got here around 2 o'clock. You can see the grass beds out. Well, you probably went can't with the glass. It's all grass beds out here. So, let me see if I can pick up some pinfish, which I see swimming around over here with my cast net. And maybe go drift some out in the bigger water and see what I can pick up. But anyway, I mean, there's the bar right there and it floated by wind that far off the bar yeah she pounds a bit oh well I'll take this any day I made it done I know I said that before but I never did think I was gonna make it done so I'm just uh, we're having a good time scalloping we haven't been fishing yet because we've been scalloping the whole time which is why I built the boat but uh there she is, umbrella up for the dogs, the scallop master on the far side of it. She's kicking my ass as usual, but um, yep, looks looks pretty there. It's, it's going to be a good boat, it's super stable. I got the push pole there, it pulls easy. I can stand right there on the corner actually and push pull that thing across the flats. Got the dogs all mascotting us up and uh, very happy with it. Um, I need to either reprop because I or lower the motor. I pushed the motor up. I probably should have kept it down about an inch below the. Um, I got it this. I got the um, the cavitation plate even with the bottom, and I really should have uh, probably dropped that down some. So. Um, in the end, I'm just going to end up getting a 40 or 50 horse for it because uh, cause it's a good boat and it needs it. It'll run, I mean, oh, way out there. Yeah, right in there is that, there's the lighthouse there, past that island. We came from way out there. Um, came all the way across. To, it wasn't too bad. But, um, it's a calm day. We really could have ripped it if we wanted to, if we had a bigger motor. You can see all these people are showing up to do the scallop thing. It's really, really pretty cool.